Yeah. Get ready for that homeless heat. Quit playing with me. Hi. What's up? He's looking for GameStop. Oh, customer. These are worth 10. Talk about murdering people like right in front of my bedroom. <laughs> All right, fool. All right, I'm going. I've been in the crack houses to get the games. Test that it works. <laughs> Woo. I didn't. I didn't. Oh, shoot. I don't know, man. It's no joke in these streets, huh? Oh, what we do for these games. Be honest with you guys, I don't know what the f I just got into. Alright, my dude, here's what's going on. I was driving up the flea market right there, junk drunk as fuck, and I seen this lady right here in the bus. I guess she lives in the bus, her and the homeless crew. And I asked him, what's up with the games? That's what I'm looking for, games. Oh, we got controllers. I'm like, alright, cool. So I just parked the Bentley, and I'm about to go across the street and see what kind of controller she's talking about. Hopefully it's that rare, that prototype's what I'm looking for, you know what I'm saying? That kiosk. Hopefully she got the kiosk controllers. I don't know, dude. We're gonna see what kind of shit it is. I'm not expecting much. It's probably gonna be straight junk, but you really just never know. You might just, you know, find something fucking good. You just never fucking know. Um, <laughs> woo! Woo! I didn't... I didn't... Dang. America, baby. All right. I didn't see those guys over there. All right, let's see what they got. Oh, man, hopefully there's some good stuff. Let's see. Seven different dogs. So he gets, he's like, oh, man, I'm sorry. Like, those are my dogs. It's like, yeah, but he ends up talking about murdering people like right in front of my bedroom door. Okay, so here, is yeah. this guy's here? Hi. What's up? He's been looking for GameStop. Uh, customer. Yeah. Uh, I didn't know they were coming now. Give me one minute. Yeah, take your time. Yeah. Sorry. All good. Okay. okay. So, right, right. No problem. I'll be right here. Man, that bike is cool, dude. This is crazy. This is that straight van life. Look, swing. Ooh, he ain't playing, you hear him? Ooh. He's like, don't get close, motherfucker. All right, fool. All right, I'm going. Chill, Fato. Damn. So, what we do for these games, man. What we do for these games. How close I am to these cars. All that, just for the games. I bet you all these cars driving by are gonna think that sh dude, I'm homeless or something. Or they're gonna probably think I'm like doing bad stuff with these homeless people. I'm just looking for the games, dude. For real. This is the effects of mess. They just gather random sharp things and put them all in one place. And uh, I guess this is what you would call meth art. And for new. And here we have a nice sandal. Adidas. Brand name right there. Quit playing with them. But you thought homeless people don't got fucking swag? You thought they don't got drip? Come on now. These okay. um, are worth 10. Okay. Um, I have a word. Uh, I have a car over here. But yeah. Okay. So inside, I'll take a look. It's a little bit of a mess. Feel free to like. Okay. I lost like a lot of money. So I just packed everything up so I could go. So I feel like I'm giving up on today. But... I'm sure we'll figure something out. Sure. Thank you. Let me take a look. Let me see what's in here. No joke in these streets, huh? Uh, I know, I know, I got friends in the streets. It's always the ones that know you the best, you know, unfortunately. I have a halo on me, actually, if you want to test the works. And then I have a couple extra cords. But I'll be using the cords. You don't got to test nothing, it's cool. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, I don't know for certain if I have to use all of it right now, but I can check to see what I Yeah, I'll take a look at whatever. And if you don't care, sorry. No worries, it's good. Put with me, man. I have a whole bit of them. Yeah. Of course. I'll take a look. But uh, not with me. Oh. I would have to go get it, but this is what I have on me right now. Okay. And it's like, I swear I arranged it, but I'm just it's just all good. Just yeah, none of these cords are going to be for the games. If you're here next month, well, I'll definitely take a look at everything. I'll stop by afterwards if you get a pile going. Okay. Yeah, yeah, just build it up. Right you usually come later in the day? I get here at like 6.15, but I leave when they close. Oh. That's how serious I am. Yeah. When's I'm cutting. Yeah. Oh, I got a bag. Not bad for just going over and talking to people on the side. So we're about to go to her other spot on the other side of I don't know where, dude. I don't know what the f I'm getting into. And uh, yeah, I'm about to go follow this homeless lady all the way to the other side of somewhere. Um, yeah, dude, wish me luck. Hopefully, there's more shit. 
so far this is pretty good right here pretty good all this stuff right here oh man let's go all right i'm ready okay. so i can't do the whole thing for 100 okay. but i am interested in this stuff right here okay all right uh i can pick in this section with like 60 but i'm all marked down to 20 if that's okay so like you can resell and i know this works but I'm, that's the only thing 10 20 uh i'll throw in those for free 10 20 uh 25 30 40 50 can you well can you do 60 bucks for that 60 let me see what i have on me give me a second okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Okay, yeah. Yes. I'll do it. Alright. Let's shit to get stolen. Thank you so much. Yeah. I'll see you next time. Yeah. Hey, thank you. Would you have to have the little gray receiver that goes with this? Oh, I didn't check it. The other place. How far is that? The other place is in the. It's just straight over there on the side of the side. Mm. You got more stuff there? Yeah, and do more controllers. They were just all tangled. Okay. I mean, I'll walk or ride with you and then meet you over there. I'll give you the address. Okay. okay. Alright, give me one second. <laughs> added this box to the pile, but I don't have room to put it in here, so. Let's see if we got space over here. Here's the game plan, my Here's what's going on right now. She's about to get in my car. She's not like tweaking and like not making sense. She's making 100% sense. She's fine. She's not like high. Right now, I'm going to give her a ride in my car and we're going to go to her second camp and we're going to do some digging. Hopefully we find more stuff for the super cheap. It just keeps coming. It doesn't stop. Like I said, power of communication, man. If I didn't open my mouth, I've never found this next bundle right here. But when I open my mouth, I'm getting fed, man. Close mouth, don't get fed. Let's go get it. I'm going to update you as I go on. All right, man. Peace. Bow, bow, bow. Okay, I'll just give those to my friend then when I see him. Yeah, totally, yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. Good idea. Nice. Oh, thank right you. Okay, cool. I'll be right here. This is crazy. This is crazy, dude. <laughs> the shit I do for the game. Come on, dude. For real, man. Straight hardcore out here. Told you I get deep in the trenches for the fucking game. I've been in the crack houses to get the games. We're going to get in winning on stop. But yeah, dude, this is crazy. I don't know what she's going to bring out. It's a thing. No clue what she's going to bring out. I don't know. This thing is tangled. Holy sh dude, how am I gonna untangle this? <laughs> I wanna get this GameCube controller out. Dude, I don't know what I got into, man. To be honest with you guys, I don't know what I just got into. I was just trying to go home, really. Oh, oh my god. Dude, the GameCube wire was all the way down here. How am I gonna get that out? No way, I'm just gonna have to give up on that one. I just can't. This is just way too tangled, folks. This is like impossible. What the fuck, dude? This is fucking mad. I'm good. I can't, I can't do this. I'm done. I've been here since 6 30. I can't do no untangling. Now. I'm gonna tell her I'm good on that. Yeah, I gotta go. I'm gonna tell her I'm done. That was a strikeout, second round. But hey, the first round, that was pretty good. All those game cubes and stuff like that. Controllers, Dreamcast controllers. That's why I got you mad. <laughs> Anyways, man, she didn't have shit the house. It wasn't really worth it. She gave me some freebies. And yeah, it's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Anyways, I'm toasty, tired to get the goodies home nice and safe. And that uh, shit is crazy, man. <sighs> Who digs deeper than me, dude? Tell me. You dig the deepest kind of thing. <laughs> Still a junk trunk. Let's go. We ain't stopping. Estimated time in traffic, 20 minutes. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> I'm hella funny. <laughs> Shortcut. Cheater. <laughs> Morph, my favorite X-Men. Home sweet home, baby. Home stretch. Let's go. Wow. Your boy, Cuddy Bang. We survived the homeless encampment. That wasn't easy. Believe me, it was a lot harder than it looked. And it wasn't a new experience. I've done things like this before to get these games. Every time it's been successful, thank God. But let me tell you something. Especially you youngsters watching my videos. Do not copy what I do. Do not just go in a homeless encampment and start asking for stuff. There's a lot more to it than that. A lot of these people can be on drugs. They have mental issues. A lot of them have police records, criminals. There's just different mentalities, different situations that could arise. They could have weapons. Homeless people always have shanks. They always have knives. So you want them to be real really really careful if you're gonna do something like this i don't recommend doing this the only reason why i do this is because i can get along with a whole bunch of people i've dealt with people that are on different types of drugs and to an extent people with mental issues so i know how to deal with many situations when i approached the homeless encampment i was confident things were gonna be okay judging by the person's body language and how everything was the dog scared me a little bit i'm not gonna lie hey, shut up! i'm glad that thing didn't bite me there was two of them and that dog looked mean you've been warned in my bio it says do not try this without proper cutting bank training be careful out there when you hunt for games don't do too much and don't do things you're not comfortable with and hunt in the daytime don't do it at nighttime like i do sometimes all right let's get to the games we got two bundles bundle that you see me pick up from the homeless encampment after the swap meet and also i have another much bigger juicy bundle that i got from someone very interesting in 2014 i was at goodwill buying some video games and there was a guy behind me in line we started talking and i let him know i'm into retro games he said he had dreamcast
Pass games. He invited me over to his house, and when I go over there, sure enough, he had stacks of them. This is the good old days back in 2014 when you could still find them in the wild. His prices were cheap. We did a deal, and coming to find out, he's like the mini boss of that neighborhood, and he knows tons of homeless people. They bring him tons of stuff all the time, and I told him to start getting more retro games, or even modern games, any type, empty boxes, manual, strategy guides, anything. I buy it all. Sure enough, he put the word out. He let his people know. Cuddy, serious. This is what he's buying. Ever since 2014, they've been bringing me bundles. So this next bundle that I'm talking about, the bigger bundle, it's also from homeless people. Anyways, this bundle right here is for 150 bucks. The other bundle I got from the homeless encampment that was 50 dollars. That's the only 50 I had in my pocket after the swap meet. But everything you're gonna see, 200 dollars. Let's flip this camera. Let's do what we do best, and let me show you what I got. <sighs> Y'all better get ready for that homeless heat. I'm telling you, man, it's sizzling. <laughs> Spare change. Hit him with the thunder. Woo! Yes, this is all from homeless people. $150 for this bundle, 50 bucks for that bundle. Y'all seen it. If you follow me on the gram, y'all seen it a few months ago when I picked this up. Let's start right here with the $50 bundle. We got the two GameCube consoles right in the back. Random Japanese cups, kind of cool. The original Xbox controllers, World of Warcraft discs, Bow! two Sega Dreamcast controllers, and they came with the official Bow! memory card. This one's a little bit less common. I think it holds more memory than this one four times as much. And we got the gem of the lock. The Nintendo GameCube Wave Bird controller, and it is in beautiful shape. Look at that. Wow. Oh my god. It's a gem. She's a keeper. Imagine how it's gonna look when I shine it up. We got Mario Kart. Oh. It's me. Tonic Trouble. N64. A few random knickknacks. This stamp stuff, that's from my friend. And it was a Star Wars Episode 5 watch in the tin can. Brand new. I don't know if this is Burger King or where this is from. Luigi's Mansion. McDonald's toy with the Bonkers toy. That's pretty cool. This must be 90s. Let's move on over to the right. Round two. Let's go. Bam. Here's a bigger bundle from the homie. We got the homeless people. Get it all together. And they deliver it to your boy. Cutty bang. Let's check it out. We got four consoles in the back, starting from the silver GameCube NES, Atari 2600, to the Atari 5200, baby. The 5200 did come with the power supply, and it came with both joysticks. We use one of these RFU adapters, probably most likely that bigger one, to hook it up 2600 with four joysticks, OEM right there. We got three specialty joysticks, pretty cool. Check it out, the Point Masters, gem stick, and pair of paddles. We got the 5200 games, baby. They're all pretty standard run-of-the-mill games, but we do got some cool ones that I don't really see too often, with the gem being Star Wars and Cubers, another one, Choplifter, Miss Pac-Man, I don't see too often and I don't see Moon Patrol either that much. Over here we got a case that someone either built or got from somewhere and you can put the games in them. Check this out. Somebody back in the 80s, they made their own end label. They put their own label on the game. That's pretty cool to see because nowadays you could just buy the end labels, right? Bow. We got a plug and play made by Polaroid. Very interesting piece. I only say that because the inputs right here. Not your standard inputs. They're 3.5 millimeter jack inputs. I do have one of these sealed but I don't know much about it. Over to the right we have another plug and play. Bow. Check it out. This one is made by Hasbro 2004. This moves when you shoot pretty neat i haven't tried it out yet do want to try this really really bad let's move on over to the left Bow. 2600 game we got a whole bunch of pretty standard stuff this blank one right here that's just golf the good ones are Bow. gi joe cobra strike donkey kong jr quick play only tax scan and a couple more run of the mill games right there and over down here to the bottom we got two more games mousetrap venture we got the 12 inch figures a couple more figures to the right i think this is a he-man figure i'm not too sure he does look familiar and we got one star trek figure three seal let's move on over to the good stuff Woo! We got a couple of NES games, Golden Zelda, with the fold-out map. The map is a little bit ripped up, but it does come with a nice clear case, as well as the other games. They have the clear cases with them. They're official Nintendo right there. Quit playing with your boy. Super Mario Brothers 3, pretty decent label. It has the manual. We got the manual for golf. A little bit tore up in the back. We do have one NES dust cover. You can never have enough of these. Don't forget about Load Runner, Mario Bros, and to end it off, forget that Dragon Warrior. Whoa! Let's not forget about the Game Boy Color accessories right there with the Nintendo Wii Nunchucks. Coming in hot! Bow! Baby, make this Spider-Man versus King Pain. Post you for the Sega City right there. My favorite console and the Sega 32X. Quit playing with your boy. Look at that beautiful poster. And don't forget, this is part of the $150 bundle right there. We got the NES Zapper. Quit playing. Let's go. And that's it, folks. You made it to the end. Thank you for hanging in there. Yes, this is real. I really got this from the homeless encampment and homeless people. And uh, people of that sort, let's just call it that. And for $200, I got about $1,100 worth of games all this because i opened my mouth i'm not kidding man this is real and welcome to the new series cutty bang raids homeless encampments for retro games it is real and i got episode two being recorded tomorrow i got a new hookup new homeless guy and he's gonna come through with some product for your boy let's go by product i mean games quit playing with your boy now a word from cutty bang my dudes one thing i want you to keep in mind moving forward is that i'm a highly trained collector i've been doing this for a long time i've taken risks 
to get these retro games. What you see me do in this video today, I've done plenty of times before, even before I started making YouTube videos. I've put my life on the line for these hunts sometimes. And thank God, straight to the top, I gotta thank them for protecting me in the past, this time, and moving forward. Um, and I can't stress this enough. I am not responsible for any injury, death, or any losses that may occur for anyone copying what I'm doing in some of these videos. Please do not copy what I'm doing. Do not risk it. It is not worth it. They're just games. You can get them on eBay. You can get them anywhere else, okay? I do what I do because I am who I am. I'm going to keep hunting it. Boy Cuddy Bane's going straight to the top as well as you guys. I'm taking y'all with me. End of the video. Stay safe. Be smart. Be calculated. And stay winning. Your boy Cuddy Bane. I'm out. <sighs>